Hello, my name is Paul Weiss and I'm with Eucalyptus Technical Marketing. In this video, we'll do the minimal steps required to launch your first Eucalyptus Cloud instance via the command line. This is a follow-on to the previous post and videos where we installed Eucalyptus 3.1 with SilverEye. SilverEye prepares our system with such things as downloading credentials, creating our private and public key pair. If you're not using SilverEye, please be sure to review the Eucalyptus documentation. Since this video shows commands on the command line, it might be useful to pause the video to review those commands as some of them can be lengthy and the video does run pretty quickly. First, we need to SSH into the CLC or the, the cloud front end. I use PuTTY here, just a simple SSH program for Windows. Works very well. We're going to log in as root. And every side of the screen is some of the output of the commands is pretty lengthy. And the first command we run is the Eucalyptus Availability Zones verbose command. I just want to check the health of the cloud. The next command, euca-authorize, is a command to prepare our security group for port 22 ingress. Basically we want to make sure that the firewall port 22 is open and this will allow us to SSH into the virtual instance once it's up and running. And notice there we did the, the default security group that's already created, but there are no firewall rules until we just added it. Next, we need to find the EMI number of the image that we uploaded during the SilverEye installation. We run yuka-describe-images for that. Now it's time to run the image. yuka-run-instances, space the EMI number, space dash K for the key, and in this case, SilverEye created a key for us. This is the private public key pair. And now we press enter to instantiate our virtual machine or our virtual instance. You can describe instances command is used to check the status of our instances. And what I'm doing here is just going to run this command every five seconds. And what I'm watching for is you'll see the state says pending and we're watching for that to change to running. And we'll just pause for a moment as this instance moves from pending to running. You notice the time clock, it just takes just a few moments. Now the instance is running. Now that our instance is running, our next task is to SSH in. We'll SSH in using the private key, so SSH-I and our key pair is located under credentials slash admin. It's called admin.private and we're going to log in as root. And from the you could describe instances command, we get the IP address and we're logged in. We'll run the ping command just to verify that our networking is working correctly. And everything looks fine. We'll exit. We'll run the you can describe instances command one more time just to find the ID of the instance. And now we're going to terminate using the ID. We'll run the watch command one more time with you can describe instances just to watch the instance terminate. So now it says shutting down. And once it's terminated, we're finished. Thanks for watching.